This is set number 2259 Skull Motorbike. This is a Ninjago set from 2011. 157 pieces, two minifigures, ages 7 to 14, and retails for $15. It's a little bit low on the price per piece. Um, actually, a little bit. Yeah, not too bad. 157 pieces for $15. Good price for this. And considering the kind of model that you're building, this is a, also a good price point. Um, very nice to have uh, this small model. This is even one you might even get multiples of. So let's take a look at the instructions first. Move these back a little bit. You can see the instructions. The main build. What I like to do with some sets and um, whether or not this is new to you, um, I sometimes look at the orientation of the sets about, you know, which, like if there's good versus evil in a theme or in certain sets, um, I look at the orientation of it, and for this set, it's villain oriented. That means villains have the advantage as far as the building material and the models in the set. It's more geared towards them for their pieces. And in this set, it's definitely villain oriented because you're building a villain's motorcycle. Shows you how to use it on the back. You got one uh, page that shows the price, I mean the pieces. One page that shows you some of the other models from the year. I don't have these models, so sorry, I can't review them for you. And on the back, it also shows you two of our figures in action in the Ninjago Spinjitzu game. Shows a bunch of different features on the side with the different spinner sets. Um, and that's pretty much it. There's a wind, and then there's the Lego Club in the back. So let's take a look at some of our figures. I'm going to start with Jay. This is the normal ninja form of Jay as he first appears in Ninjago, the entire theme. This is actually one of my favorite forms of him, just because they have really nice outfits and rarely do you get a blue ninja in any set. So it's really nice to see his details. Um, he has no back printing on his torso or on his face, but he does have a black sword in the set to put on the back of him. He also carries a pair of golden nunchucks. These are the nunchucks of lightning, the prime weapon of, of Jay's character, who is the ninja of lightning. And there's a look at his face. It's the same face we get for every form of Jay in Ninjago, the, th the entire theme. Next up we have our skeleton driver. This is Chopov. And he is in his main element is Earth. He is pretty cool looking actually. I like the bike helmet that they include with him. Originally used for army men in some of the Toy Story sets, like this one. But I like how they changed the color of it so you can use it for more of a biker helmet and just use it more in general. He's got a different um, skeleton body than most other skeletons in different themes. Ninjago skeletons have more of this body um, as well as their arms and legs. They're new to the theme. He has a pretty standard head. No back printing on the head. And he has a little bit of printing on the torso. He's got the nice shoulder blades piece so he really knows what's going on. He's a tough guy. The helmet is a little bit different on both sides, so you can make it a little bit more inward or outward as far as the brim. This is the usual side for him. And he carries one weapon that's just a giant bone axe with a nice bronze tip. So let's talk about this set. We have Chopov, and now in the context of the set online, it shows that Chopov actually stole the nunchucks and Jay is getting them back. But I think it's a little bit better to put Jay with the nunchucks since, after all, in the picture for the set, he's with it. And it's just a little bit more, you know, trying to balance it out between, you know, this huge motorbike 
and Jay's, well, just Jay. We got a lot of detail on here. Biker fans would probably like this set a lot because of the detail in included. We got a large tire on the back and two small tires used on the front. Got lots of Technic bricks in the front used for that um, front end look. Definitely a tough bike. We have some stickers, one over here and one over here. Two stickers in the set, relatively easy to put on as well. So stickers are very good. Got great flame piece pieces in the back. Great for the exhaust on this bike because it's pretty large, so it needs some large flames on the back. We also have this bone arch on the back. These are just loose pieces. You could press them in if you want to slow down or not move around so much. But usually you can keep it up like this just to have the bony design and, you know, keep the wheel in line. We have some stairs that go up to the main cockpit and then also stairs on the other side. We have a couple of purple pieces in the set, which is nice. And we got these nice, lots of bone detail. Even the skull on the front looks impressive. Very scary looking and very nice even just to take this minifigure out and trade him for other minifigures to use for the bike. It does not have any landing or, you know, kickstand or anything. This is probably the closest thing to it, but it doesn't really have a kickstand function. It just sits there. There's, there's no way to stop the bike. You just kind of have to hold it. It good thing about it too is it's great at balancing. Since the wheels are th are thick enough, you can have a nice easy roll with it. You could throw it a little bit harder to get it to tilt, but even standing up, if it's not going anywhere, it's in good shape. And the main feature of this bike is once you press this lever on the side, it activates a chain, pulls back on a chain you can see on the bottom, and releases this skull face onto anyone in front. Which is really cool if you're driving and, you know, you have some obstacles to block out of your way, you could just use this skull and, you know, continue driving. Now for this set, you could hit it against J. And I didn't get close enough. Let's try it again. Hold it this way. Boom. Knocked him right out. So you can see how the chain is designed in there. It's a little bit thick in there. But it's really nice, a really nice piece. Not only as a decoration, but also as a secret weapon. To have that in part of the set. Plus the chain just has a good design to it. You know, adds more to the tough biker look of the set. So overall, for $15, it's a very nice set to get. Some people might even want to get multiple of these because they do appear more than once in the Ninjago TV series. Um, I usually have like two or three on screen at a time. And they're nice as like scouting vehicles for the, skel for the skeleton army. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. I like this a lot. Great build, easy to, easy to assemble, and... Nice features. I also like the figures with it. I mean, some people may get tired of the skeletons being so plain, but I think this one's pretty unique. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time with more LEGO set reviews. <laughs>